mirable reflections of heartfelt feelings left lonely and dejected by the open door are squashed by the heavy booted jackdaws of time and remain only as they ever were before back beyond the start up to the end and back again again slowly the ruminating artworks of her tired life lift up the flattened memory pods and load them into wooden crates a dozen to a crate and none of them touching another them's the rules so the foreman told us and we as ever live to obey and that's how it was done the crates were lifted by a crane a magnificent bird and placed on top of themselves not each other until they reached right up to the floor and there they sat for all to see and almost no one to understand or care the sting in the tail so i am often told by those in the know is just when there is no mountain very often there is this isn't a problem on the whole but it could well be a problem a major problem on a plane like a snake or two or three is a snake in the grass worth two on a plane which plane is it? Is it the astral plane? If it is, then who's the pilot? Is who the pilot? Is a whale the pilot? Is a pilot whale? Or does a pilot whale? Does a pilot light? Is a pilot light? Not if the pilot is a whale, I would suppose. But what do I know? Very good question. What do I know? Resquendent dimensions of understanding, folded neatly and laid gently in the bottom drawer of the cabinet of remembrance, with a bag of lavender scented regrets and a reimagined reality mothball. This is the way of the past we hold most precious, while the bad memories are either thrown out into the cold back garden of rose tintedness or stand guard over the past with huge teeth and long, sharp pointy sticks which they use to continually prod and poke at us with until we are unable to focus on life enough to live it well. I try to lose myself in grand wordage but in all honesty I am fighting myself and the world and my head and my heart my soul and my life. There is a power swelling inside my chest, trying to break out alien-like, and all it tells me it wants to do is destroy me. Back to the bend in the brace and beyond, towards the heavenly inward spiral and deeper into the back of. Reverse the dihydrophone and let loose the dogs of war. The fields of demons are taking up arms against the energies and driving them back into the mire. We are no more or less than that. Coffee calling and the energy resigns. Down it falls and clasps a pole in its hands as it does so. Ramp, ramp, reverse, revise, resize, reside, rename, remain, replace, repair, recode. It is a symphony of uniformity that screams its way into the darkness of my unfolded mind and stamps through the grey-green flowers in boots of steel and walrus hide. Untie the Mayflower. It's high time we set sail for the future and there is no better vessel for to do it so in. Deepening the dark, it is marked out to morning and the dawn is ready for floating at length. Thank mm -hmm. you.